in Hypixel Skyblock, there's a massive issue, and it's kind of destroying the economy. You see, the issue that's causing regular tasks to become cripplingly expensive, in reality, is a very good addition to the game. So you want to recombobulate an item. Almost 11 million coins. The three scrolls that you would put on a Hyperion add up to over 1.4 billion coins. Considering a clean Hyperion is 767k, and a Necron's handle itself is 715k. Can't help but think something's a bit off. That means at the moment, the price of a relatively bog standard scrolled Hyperion is well over 2 billion coins. Don't get me wrong, the price of scrolls were definitely on the rise prior to the Garden update anyway, but it's almost been like a catalyst. Okay, we've got the prices for Grove 6 up. Okay, over the past two months, look at this. Two months ago, Grove 6 were, well, you can pick one up for just under 5 million. At the moment, an insta buy is over 15 million. And if you put an order in, you could get one for around about 12 and a half. Absolute insanity. Okay, take a look at this. Warden Heart. Okay. No longer, no longer is the cheapest one 205 mil. The cheapest one is 217 million coins. Considering it was only probably maybe two weeks ago when you could quite comfortably pick one of these up for around about 130 million. Bear in mind, this is during Aatrox. We have a two perk Aatrox right now, okay? Aatrox is here, and this is still happening. You would assume that things like Warden Hearts would be at their all-time low when, in reality, no, 217 mil. I could go on and on and on because there's examples of this all across the board and consistently. And the issue itself isn't the garden update. I guess it's the way that people play the garden update. For example, if we take a crop like sugarcane, of course, you can build on these plots. And, you know, th this isn't the first time that it's ever happening. This has probably happened forever. But if you want to farm sugarcane in the most efficient way, you have to be set up at a certain angle and you simply just sort of hold two keys. It's that simple. But that's it. And there isn't really many other skills out there in the game that you can simply just do that with. To an extent, obviously, people attempt to macro with mining, but most of the time to not massive success. Of course, it'd be very difficult to macro combat. And the same with fishing, really, because majority of your fishing XP comes from the kills that you get when you actually fish, like, creatures up. But the amount of people now macro in farming is unreal. Don't get me wrong, macroing is not a new thing, and it's been around pretty much since the start of the game. Well, specifically, you know, post the 1.5 garden update, when all the crop prices got buffed, there's definitely been a massive influx. Also, something else, I'm not saying this is wrong, but, you know, it is, it's what people do, and it's what you pretty much have to do if you, you know, can want to stay sane when farming a lot. And people will set up the farm, so they literally just have to, you know, hold two keys and hold left click down so they're breaking you know the crops at that point they don't even look at the screen and you know you, you can watch whatever you want at that point i'm all for making a grind easier but surely this is not how a game is supposed to be played like there's two sides to it like if i'm just simply doing this for hours and hours up on end obviously a little bit faster then i'm gonna go absolutely insane but i guess that's just how boring farming really is now of course farming itself requires very little input. Macro in farming requires even less input. Now there's people that have macro set up on multiple accounts at once, um, and they're making hundreds of millions of coins an hour, basically just taking advantage of the Garden 1.5 update. Not only that, it is way, way too easy for anyone to get into farming. Now, it's not a bad thing in a sense, but the issue is, is that realistically, you don't really have to have that good gear. You don't have to have that much progression. And you can already probably be making, like, at least 5 million coins an hour after a few hours in the garden. Well, you might be thinking, is that really a bad thing? Any new player would sort of dream of making that many coins that easily. And that's true. But if the very early game players have access to making that many coins in that short period of time, then what does that mean for everyone else? Well, the direct impact of that is the exact ridiculous prices on the bazaar, seeing recombobulators at almost 11 mil. And the same goes for a massive proportion of the items on the bazaar too. Now, considering Skybox market, the driving forces of the market, you know, people buy and people sell. There's always going to be inflation. It's always going to happen. However, recombobulators have increased in price around about 40% in the past six months. In the past six months, implosion has probably increased 
around about 400%. The same goes for Wither Shield and also Shadow Warp. So many knives are constantly up and down, but even these are really expensive at the moment. Perfect Jasper Gemstones are almost 40 million coins. 40 million. Okay, so in the last six months, these have easily increased by 100% in price. Diamante Sandals, almost 2 million coins. They've increased in price around about 80% over, this, over the past six months. Hot Potato Books, up around about, what, 350%? 300%? There's literally too many items to cover. Like, it's just mental. Yesterday, I bought these new tower boots and I bought this new Crimson Helmet. I bought them both, well... Pretty much plain as you do and I had to upgrade it all myself. Now, taking um, Crimson Essence out of the equation, for these two pieces of armour, paid around about 150 million coins. That's in terms of recombobulating it, upgrading it, unlocking the gemstone slots. That's pretty much it. Of course, putting the hot potato and fuming on as well. It's just absolute insanity. Now, as with inflation and the devaluation of money, now, in an ideal world, your income would rise at a relatively similar rate to inflation, meaning in reality, your job isn't any harder. What I mean by that, just because the prices are increasing, doesn't mean that your income isn't. However, at the moment, farming is so broken that it isn't proportional. And that's why that the people who are macroing on multiple accounts are making an absolute ton of coins. However, this means for the average player, well, the dreams of getting that item that you wanted are just going to get further away. Now, a clear way to combat this is basically, well... If you want to make some coins, then just decide to make coins in a market that is heavily inflated. For instance, like I said before, it's Aatrox. And if you drop a one heart, you're going to get, what, 60, 70 million coins more than you usually would have just a few weeks ago. Obviously, you have to get lucky, but, you know. Now, without question, I'm not trying to say that the garden update is a bad thing. And I'm not trying to say that the NPC sell value of crops being increased is a bad thing either. Both of those things are good. Is cement's farming in the garden as actually a viable money-making method? Although, the issue is, because farming is so easy to macro, you know, there's a bit of an issue. I do truly believe that the macroing on the garden is one of the primary factors for the massive inflation. And it's a shame because the garden is such a good update. And I just fear that people are going to be drove away from the game just because... Well, for a lot of players, it's now impossible to get what they want now. But anyway, let me know what you think of everything in the comments. Um, bit of a tricky situation to go over. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.